Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Mundano Legend on this channel. Skulumang ama reality TV shows, ama celebrities, kanya nama YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today, there is a subscribe button Lange Zansi. Please uh, press it. Listen, you guys, I want to talk about this lady here, okay? I saw this story first time on uh, Twitter where they had posted something about her. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And when I saw the tweets, I thought I recognized the face, but I am not really good at, uh, I don't know, you guys, like Lendo Yogurt, when you see some someone somewhere else, you connect that this is the person from this other place. <laughs> I'm not good with that until somebody says it, okay? Especially when it comes to influencers and stuff, I can't keep track of uh, all of them. And uh, the person that actually connected this uh, for me was uh, Sims Wright because she just did a video about this story. And she does state that this lady is a YouTuber on her video. Then I was like, yes, okay, this is where I've seen this lady. Then I went and I searched uh, for her on uh, YouTube and she is here, you guys. She is a YouTuber, okay? So this is what they are writing about her because uh, it is being alleged that she scammed uh, somebody, okay? The account called Men is Not Berry Rooks uh, says Leona Van Daba is uh, wanted by the uh, police for stealing 18,000 rands. A case against her was opened at Brooklyn uh, Police Station. The police have tried contacting her, uh, but now she's playing hide and seek with them. If uh, seen, please contact the nearest police station. And this was not actually the first time that he was, uh, the account is posting this story because sometimes we don't know the, with these accounts if it's a man or a woman sometimes. So this was the first time that they were posting about her, okay? And under the comment section, somebody has uh, the details of uh, the story over here. And uh, this is what they are saying uh, under the comment section, okay? This is Leona Van Der Bah, uh, a YouTuber and an underground model. Leona is wanted by the police for theft. So she stole 18,000 rand from her American boyfriend, uh, friend who boyfriend friend who wanted to come to South Africa for a holiday. Leona was given 18,000 uh, rands to book an Airbnb plus an extra 5,000 for her. Okay, her boyfriend trusted her because uh, this was not, this was the second time booking a, an Airbnb for him. She called her boyfriend in America, told him that the Airbnb had been booked and he is free to come. He sent him a fake screenshot showing everything has been said. Uh, days has uh, passed and uh, telling the guy lies. Instead of sending him his money, she started sending him nudes uh, until she, she ended up blocking the guy everywhere while the guy is stuck here in South Africa. Okay, why did you even let the guy come? This is so horrible, you guys. Days uh, has uh, passed and uh, she's telling the guy lies instead of sending him the money. She started sending him notes until she ended up blocking the guy everywhere while the guy is stuck here in South Africa. Okay, that is so unfortunate, you guys, that um, that had to uh, happen. Anyway, so it doesn't look like uh, people are feeling... Uh, sorry for this guy. Well, other people are calling her a crook under the comment section, but other people are like, uh, this guy must have a lot of money if he is sending about 18K so, uh, to this girl and uh, maybe he's not missing so much of this money. Okay. And listen, I mean, this, it sounds like they were in a relationship. This is from what the boyfriend is telling, you know, uh, because obviously she hasn't told her side of the story. I checked her Instagram. She has like 49,000 uh, followers there. She hasn't, I, have, I didn't see anything where she's explaining the situation. I checked her YouTube account and it. I don't see where she's explaining herself. So it looks like she hasn't told her side of the story, okay? But from what the boyfriend is saying, they were in a relationship. So this was not like a catfish situation or anything like that. This was somebody they were in a relationship with. They they have seen each other before because she, he has come to South Africa and she has helped him before to book an Airbnb. I mean, if you have a girlfriend in a country, it makes sense that that person will be the one to help you, you know, make the arrangements, the bookings and everything. OK. And on top of that, this is not a crazy boyfriend. OK. She's, he sent the 18,000 uh, for the booking and also gave her the, the 5,000 just for her. OK. So <laughs> I don't know why she felt the need. This is still 
and I, I, this thing is being posted almost every uh, every day because they're looking for her. They're saying the police are looking for her. The boyfriend is here in South Africa. There's no Airbnb. I don't know where he's staying uh, while he is looking for her. She keeps saying she's going to send the money back, and uh, she doesn't, okay? And here, let me see, is this the one? Uh, yes, you guys. Here there is a screenshot of uh, the conversations uh, between the two of them, you know, when he actually realized that uh, she is actually uh, scamming her, him, okay? Uh, so here is a don't piss me off, okay? This is him, I think. Is this him? Yeah, I think. Okay. What, what the F? uh with you okay why did why did you what did you do with my airbnb where is my airbnb okay the guy wants to know okay this is friday uh, june the 30th okay uh listen you guys but this is so long ago okay anyway <laughs> the message that first message is that it says friday june the 30th okay but this is obviously being posted now july 25 which was like uh yesterday your money uh, will reflect in 48 hours. She's answering. Your money will reflect in 48 hours because she was claiming that she was going to pay him back the money, but she's not saying what she did with the money. Why didn't she book the Airbnb? I cancel the booking under my name. When it reflects, I'll send it to you, okay? And he replies to say, I need Airbnb now, now. Why would you return the money? Just book the guy in Airbnb. And if you don't want to spend time with him, you can just say, yeah, you can go to the Airbnb. I don't want to be with it. Whatever the reason is, I don't know, you guys. Uh, he says, don't push me. In the next five minutes, don't push me. As soon as it reflects, I'll send it. Pick up my effing calls, okay? Now, I guess she was starting to uh, ignore his calls. Leona, you effed me up. Peter, can you please give me today? I am sorry. It was supposed to be paid the other day, okay? Now she's saying, please give me today. I am truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Please don't do this. I promise to pay you uh, today. You could have told me this before my arrival. Exactly, you guys. That listen, your thing is not sorted out. Imagine being in a foreign country, your accommodation is not sorted, and you think that it's sorted. And also, you haven't budgeted for extra uh, money because obviously you're gonna need money to book now because she did not book for you. Okay. And I could have made uh, plans. Why did that? Answer me why. Okay. I can explain if it's uh, if it's not too late. Okay, and even sent, uh, I even sent you 5,000 before, okay? Let me show you this if you're thinking I'm joking, okay? I don't know what that one is. Maybe she was showing her that she was going to expose her with those screenshots. They are not making sense to me. Uh, anyway, uh, and then here she writes, Peter, I know they're probably going to say that uh, I also feel bad and I'm sorry. Just give me today. This can still this can still be fixed, please. You could have done some a simple thing was to tell me. You could have done a simple thing which was to tell me before I arrive, but you did not care. Okay, she replies, not that I didn't care or anything, but I was scared and I didn't know uh, you will just blow me out of, uh, you'll just blow this out of proportion. I am sorry it was done. If it was done to me, I probably wouldn't be would have been uh, made to please give me a chance. And the guy replied, I'm even crying as to why I'm going to do this to you. I swear, I, I haven't been taking it easy. Leona, you effed me, okay? <sighs> Everyone is asking me why, <laughs> okay? And you give me what I want and you are free, okay? He just wants his money at this point, I guess, because maybe he can see that the relationship is not, basically it's over. Uh, yeah, relax, you are getting it. Give me a sec, okay? And then there's a photo here that was deleted. I'm also trying to sort out the money situation here. I have a lot to say to you, but I can only say it after I have given you your money. Today it won't end, um, today won't end with you getting it okay i want to connect to wife and sort it out she's showing here that the app is not uh, working and that's the reason she's not able to send i guess proof that she has uh, paid the money okay so then after all of this i went to her uh youtube channel because i was like oh, okay i'm interested now to know what she has been posting in the last few days has she been spending the 18k <laughs> 
<laughs> what happened to the 18? Now I'm trying to find the 18K. Hey, as, as, as if this, this, this has anything to do with me. Hmm? Yes, yeah, being a gossiper. So then I went to her YouTube channel. She mo she mostly is uh doing ama vlogs, you guys. Anyway, I admire people that that vlog like where your channel is just about vlogging because I I feel like uh shooting ama vlogs is the most difficult thing for me and the editing of the vlogs. Oh my god! Sometimes I sit with the content on uh, my PC after shooting the vlog for my uh, Raising Supposetsu channel because I'm just lazy to edit because to put those all of those clips together to come up with a vlog is not easy. So I always feel like people that vlog work hard. So she does that, you guys. And it's one of it's those vlogs where people are, you have breakfast and you have lunch and you're going to the event and what what and whatnot. So you know those people that live that life that we don't live. You know, a lot of us wake up in the morning and go to work, okay? And it sounds like she's a student too, from uh, what I heard her say in one of her vlogs. And but I wanted to look at this picture, you guys, because listen, we we are kind of investigating. We are pretending to be investigators now, okay? And look at the corner there. What do you see? Okay, <laughs> is that not the hand of a man? Okay, does this hand look American? Okay, tell me in the comment section if the hand of this man here look like an American man. And this vlog, by the way, was taken, uh, posted, that it, let me say that because it, it might be that it was taken a long time ago. It was posted three days ago. Does this hand look like my American boyfriend? <laughs> then I started thinking, did she actually uh, take this guy's money and go spend it uh, with another man, uh, with a South African man? Maybe this uh, girl has a boyfriend actually in South Africa. That's, that's the problem now, you know? The American boyfriend wants to come and now she's like, well, how am I going to do that? My boyfriend is here, okay? Did that 18K pay for this meal that she's having here? Because they're in this fancy place and eating fancy meals, okay? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, you guys. Listen, you must never, ever, ever in your life halala people's life online because you will find out the things that they have to do uh, to show certain things, you know, uh, to show that they live certain lives. You, you, you don't want to experience it, okay? People go through a lot to give us these vlogs where they are living these unbelievable lives, okay? <laughs> But uh, I also saw this vlog here where she gets to, she does a lot of things. Earlier on in this one, you guys, uh, she is actually, there is a man on her on her vlogs, okay? There is a man that she talks to, doesn't show him. You see a hand here and there, and then you hear the voice, okay? And she's very careful not to refer to him in any way. It's like she's just talking to somebody. I was trying to listen. Is she saying baby? Is she saying love? You know, is she saying dimples? You know, Uzandi Kumalo said dimples to... to she, she said she used to call him dimples i'm like is she calling him dimples or something? she's very careful not to do that so you don't know whether it's her man but there is a man that is with her on some of her vlogs okay so and i don't know how this american man missed this okay because i found it very easily it's here on youtube on her youtube channel okay so here the interesting thing here is that uh, she goes out with her friends they're living the life you guys they're living the life that as working people should be living but we are at work when they are living this life tonight to see my office see us events okay <laughs> <laughs> so here you guys uh she is talking to her friend and they are talking about how they are in this era of uh, you know being stay-at-home girlfriends listen you guys yeah, when you are online our kids need to be careful about this in pillow online if you forget a specific kind of spectacles when you look at it okay because this idea of stay-at-home girlfriends is like a new idea but in order for you to be that stay-at-home girlfriend, what what are the things that you need to do? That is the thing that they don't reveal, okay? And I hope that our kids are intelligent enough to be able to see these things. I'm not saying this is what is happening here, but it's eating in literally is what they say with the friend here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, the only thing that is going well now, right, is our relationship. Otherwise, the rest is just fucked up. School, fucked up. 
We work in our men's pockets. Okay. I think if you if you if you're looking for answers, the answer is right there. We work in our men's pocket, okay? And if the pocket of your man has 18k in it, that is your salary for the month, okay? And nobody ever returns a salary. So whoever gets paid a salary and then returns them, okay. So this American man must just understand that he is not getting that 18k back, okay? <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that's all that I wanted to talk about. By the way, her name, let me just see again so that I get it right so that you can go subscribe to her channel. It's Leona Vandama. Vandama. Hey, Bo. I couldn't Yes, but I think she's uh, closer. You guys, listen, just go and subscribe to her channel. She's at uh, 2,810 uh, something uh, subscribers. And uh, let me subscribe with Scatler TV. And uh, yes, you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her views are not that bad, okay? She, so she is getting some money from YouTube, definitely. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for uh, watching this video. Please like it before Pume Giona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers. Nimitanda Kakul.